Matthew 13, 31. He presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a person took and sowed in his field. And of all the seeds planted in the region, it is the smallest. But when it has grown, it is the largest of the garden herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air find shelter in its branches. Do not allow the opinion of people to diminish your commitment to serve. God uses people who are willing to give him their all. Think about the widow and her one might. The lad with his little lunch. The Sholomite widow with little oil. Regardless to how small your all might seem, little becomes much when you place it in the master's hands. Continue giving your best regardless to how it compares to the works, the talents, the abilities, or the knowledge of others. It is God who elevates, delegates, and gives the increase. Give him your all. Luke 16.10, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. What is insignificant to man will become significantly important to God. God's internet system is powered by the Holy Spirit, not Google. It doesn't cost anything. It is free. Direct access 24 hours a day. No computer or device needed. No password for all eternity. Password, Jesus. For all, adult, teen, or child. Fastest high-speed connection. Prayer. Plan for tomorrow, but live for today. God will give you everything you need to be obedient in both. And trust God through it all. God loves us all. Those who put their hope and trust in God will never be disappointed. Romans 5, 5 says, Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Thank you, Lord, for pouring out your love in my heart when I didn't know where to go or what to do. And I thank you for the Holy Spirit who will never leave me or forsake me. You have never disappointed me. Thank you for another beautiful day. In Jesus' name, amen. God said, let us make man in our image. So God created man in his own image. Genesis 1, 26 through 27. God created everything we see with words. He called them into being. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God said, let there be a firmament, the expanse of the sky in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters below from the waters above and God said let the waters under the heavens be collected into one place of standing and let the dry land appear and it was so Genesis 1 3 6 and 9 everything God said came to pass and you are created in God's image and your words also have power. Your words can call things into being, so use them wisely. Speak in agreement with and believe in God's plan for your life. And you will see it come to pass. Your words have the power to create reality. Have a wonderful day. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. So remember to pray for everything and everyone in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.